Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss global variables and global constants. I will show you step by step how to create global variable, global constants and how to implement it in the process. So let's get started. First, let me tell you what is global variable and what is global constants. Just like variables, global variables and global constants are a containers that store data. But unlike variables, these store data in a central location which can be accessed by all parts of an automation project. Variables are created in that a specific workflow and can be accessed within that a specific workflow itself. But global variables and global constants is created from the centralized location called data manager. The word global variable and global constants. So it has a term used global. It means this variable can be accessed globally across the project. If you have 10 workflow in one project, then that global variables value, global constants value can be accessed in all the workflows. Global variables and global constants is created from data manager panel. If you can see here, we have a section variables, arguments, constants so if we'll click on variables we have option to create new variables so we can create variables also and we can create global variables also from here from the constants we can create global constants now you will be thinking that why global variables and global constants are created from data manager not from the variables panel it's because from the variables this is accessible within that workflow so if we are here in the main workflow and if we are creating a variable then we can access that variable only in the main workflow if you are creating a separate workflow and creating a variable in that workflow so that variable will be accessible only in that specific workflow will not able to access that variable which is created in different workflow we cannot access here so the variable which is created from the variables panel can be accessed only from that specific workflow i know you are also trying to compare with the assets and with this data manager global variables and constants there is a difference here if you create an assets you are storing variable in the orchestrator assets then you will have to get that value using the activity from the orchestrator and then you will have to store that in that variable or arguments right so again you are using a variable or arguments to use that variable or pass the value from one uh, one workflow to another but if you are creating a global variable then no need to pass the value from one workflow to another workflow directly you can access that variables value across the project so if you have assets you are getting the value from there so you can store that in the global variable and after that that global variables value can be accessed across the project now i will show you how to create it and how to implement that in project so let's take one example you have a chatbot we are like it's asking for your name and you provide your name as a username and then it stores that username and it uses your that name across the conversation same way what we are going to do we'll implement here we'll ask for the username and then once user will enter the username we will be storing that in the global variable and then we will try to welcome in a different workflow also and then after that in the different workflow we'll also get a value country name from the user and we'll again store the country name will take the value the country name from the user in a different workflow and try to use that variable that global variable in a different workflow 
so that you will able to understand how we are like taking the data storing the data in different workflow but we are able to access it in different workflow so it's like a argument right so let me uh, first show you this practically then we'll discuss about the difference between arguments and this global variable and constants so let's take here one input dialog box and here we'll ask user to enter the username here we have a input type text box and then whatever value we'll take from user will store here now we are going to store this in a global variable so right side in the data manager we'll go to the variables click on new variables so you saw here once we'll click on new variable so based on the workflow automatically it creates a variable in the and you can see it in the variables panel and here also you can see so this is called normal variable it means variables can be created from the variables panel and from the data manager also but now we are going to convert it to the global variables how we can do that first we have a name so we need to change to the global variable so we'll say global var underscore name so this is the naming convention i'm using to create a global variable choose the specific data type so i'm going to store name so i will take string now here we have a scope so once we'll click on that you can see the word global and then inside that we have main so if you have different different workflow also created here that will be listed and that that variable can be created in that specific workflow but now we need to create global variables so we'll click on global once we click on that the scope will be changed here you can see the scope will be changed to the global and now the icon also changed here global variable we created here now let's use this global variable so for that we'll click here click on this plus once we'll click here you will get an option use variable so we are going to use the variable once you'll we'll click on that you will see the options click on variables and now you can see global var underscore name which is created here you just need to click on that now you will not see here only the variable name you will see this this complete things like global variables namespace dot global variables dot global var underscore name so the first before the dot this is the namespace which you can also add in your namespace uh, sorry you go to the imports and you can put here if this is not created i'm going to take another workflow which will welcome this user so let's create one workflow right click click on add sequence and this one for this is for welcome user let's create here now we have stored the value in this global variable now we are going to call this here in the welcome user and then i'm going to take here one message box i will welcome like this so in double quotes i will say hello space plus and then i will click on this click on this click on use variable take this variable name again one plus double quotes space welcome to ui path rpa now click save now after welcome i'm going to take one more input dialog box and this time i will ask user to enter the country name so i will say enter and we need to create a separate different global variable to store the country which we are going to access now in the main workflow we'll create a different global variable so we'll click on new variable put here global where it means variable underscore this will be country now data type will be string scope change it to the global now click on that click plus use variable click here now we have two variable global var name global var country so this time we are going to use global var country so we'll click on this one right after that i'm going to pass like use this var, 
this value in the main workflow and then take here one more message box in the main workflow and this time we'll say and then use that global variable the country so click on this put your cursor here and then click on use variable expand this take this one so now this has been added here click save now we need to call this welcome user here I'm going to call this welcome user here so let's save and run this enter a name here okay now once we'll enter the name here you'll see the message box which we have used in the welcome workflow this is called right so it says that hello Manish Pandey welcome to UiPath RPA so that value has been passed to the different workflow right now once we'll click OK it will ask another input that is country so I'm saying India click OK so the value has been passed from the welcome workflow to the main workflow so we store the value India in the welcome workflow right and here in the main workflow we are just calling that in the message box so good to hear that you are from India so you can see here this is passing the value from one workflow to another workflow now I'm going to show you how to create global constants and how to use that one so constant where the value is fixed so you can use your any uh, URL any file path any a specific value let's say the maximum retry count so you can store that so let's create one constant so we'll go to constants click on new constants and this time I will say global constants underscore this will be uh, let's say I'm going to take my YouTube URL which is like constant this which is fixed and I can pass here the default value also so I will say double quotes YouTube dot com slash UI path RPA click OK and now I can use this also here by just calling an activity open browser and I will take here that global constant here go to this use variable go to the constants and take this one save this you can see here it has been passed here select this open browser go to the properties panel select the browser type so I'm using Firefox now you can run it let's say I'm going to enter here Manis Pandey click OK click OK and then I will say India click OK and once we'll click OK it will take the value this YouTube UiPath RP channel that URL because we have a stored here as a default value so it will take this value and then it will launch right so this has been open now you can close it one more thing you need to understand here that once you will create the global variables global constants you cannot modify its name data type scope so these three you will not able to modify so if you will try to click on that edit variable so this variable name this is now disabled you cannot edit this you cannot edit data type you cannot edit scope once it is created I hope this is clear thank you for watching this video 
I hope this video helped you understand more about the global variables and global constants and how to create and implement in the process. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in comments below. Until next time, happy learning.